Let me talk about relationships. First of all, this card is usually, um, it's a, it's a karma card. And it, as it relates to a relationship, it's a situation where you know somebody is going to be there for you through thick and thin. Okay. So it's sort of like, no matter what, you can count on the other person. And no matter what, no matter how rough things are, even if you were to break up, for example, you know that you can for call them, you know, if you're stranded in the middle of the road at like 4 a.m. in the morning. And um, they're going to pick up their phone and they're going to come and get you. Even if you have broken up because you really do care about each other. So I feel some of you are dealing with this type of a relationship where you really, really care about another person. You really, um, you really either really love them or you care about them. You want them to be okay. And there's an element here about being afraid to lose another person. So in a way, I feel like they, you love them, but they also can serve as your security blanket because you have this deep rooted trust in one another. And, um, I don't feel like it's a bad thing, but it can go one of two ways, just depending on how you handle it. Because I feel like the important thing is for us to know, do we love the other person or do we just care about them? Are they easy to get along with? Do we have like good chemistry with each other? Do we just get along? Do we see things from uh, eye to eye? Or is there romance and true love in the relationship? So I feel like you're dealing with these two energies and you're confusing the two. And, you know, Aquarius, um, I feel like many of you, 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 you really value your friendships. And even after a breakup, you vow to, you know, remain friends. And so the blur, the, the lines between friendship, compatibility and friendship and true love and chemistry and passion, these two things need to be sorted out. And these two things are not the same thing. So if you're staying with somebody, because, you know, you care about them and because you've been through so much together, but the love is no longer there or you're struggling to figure out, do I really love them or do I just like them? You need to make these decisions. And I feel like th uh, things are going to be coming up for examination for this month. And if you've kind of been um, kind of, you know, deluding yourself as to, Maybe it's really love. I, I don't feel like it's going to fly anymore. Okay. So make these important decisions and try to sort out the relationships in, um, sector because I feel like the light, the spotlight is being shown on it so that you can understand what it is, how you feel about that person and what it is that you need moving forward. I also feel like for many of you, there is a major reconciliation here with a relationship partner and it looks really positive. It looks to me like you care about each other and it looks to me like there's a lot of um, lingering love that's still in the picture. And it feels as if you have been in a long standing relationship with this person. You've worked really, really hard at the relationship. And there were times where <clears throat> one person was, you know, feeling the financial hardships. The other person stepped up and try to shoulder the responsibilities. And likewise, there might have been times when one person was feeling, you know, emotionally just, um, emotionally just, uh, distraught. And the other person really stepped in, stepped in to provide the support for the partner. So I feel like a lot of you are in this, you know, really loving, compatible, really loving, committed relationship and, this is the month in which feelings of securities are going to be stirred up within you. You know, you're, you're really afraid to lose the person. And I feel like your feelings about them is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And you're not, um, like I mentioned before, you're not an emotional sign. And a lot of the times you go through the motions without processing your feelings. And so, um, situations will, you know, come into the, the forefront for this month and it will dredge up these security issues. And you're going to feel like I need to hang on to this person. I need to control the relationship. I need to, you know, have things my way because you are afraid to lose them. So just be very careful of the tendency and the need to control.
releasing control, releasing expectations, releasing even trust issues from past relationship, that is going to be very crucial for you so that you can have, you know, a, a more harmonious relationship so that the other person knows that you trust them and that you both can work together, you know, through thick and thin. Okay. So that's just my initial assessment here based on, you know, the, the way the cards are falling out. Um, underlying, um, these issues here. And I, I feel like some of you have recently have recently uh, broken up with another person or somebody has recently kind of like left you out in the cold. Okay, so this is a small minority, I feel, of Aquarian people dealing with this. Um, I feel like somebody came into your life and really, really, really loved you. This person really loved you. They, they gave it their all. And um, out of your sheer sense of stubbornness, your sheer sense of pride, I feel like you weren't ready to accept the love because it, it was very deep and it made you uncomfortable and it required um, you to change your ways in order to be with them. So maybe they wanted, you know, like commitment from you. Maybe they loved in a way where it just was a little bit too claustrophobic, like they, they wanted too much alone time. And you're a very independent sign. So maybe it was just, you know, too uncomfortable. It, it felt too claustrophobic. And, um, you might have let that person go your, your feelings. Like it, it's like you couldn't reciprocate. You couldn't reciprocate, um, their feelings and you let the person go. And now I feel like you're dealing with the aftermath of it where you realize that person was actually really good. I want them back and you're trying to communicate with them and they're not in the picture. This is like being cast out in the cold. Um, somebody walking away from us. So I feel like some of you, a um, very small minority, are dealing with this where, you know, um, a lot of issues when it comes to relationships overall are coming to light, mainly because we do have a, um, an eclipse happening in, um, in the month of August. And I also feel like with your, uh, with a lot of planetary aspects in Leo, which is, it rules your seventh house which is your house of partnership. It's also your, your polar opposite. A lot of what you need to be happy in a relationship, a lot of uh, security issues regarding relationships are being dragged back up, are being, um, I feel like disseminated, you know, like you're, you're dissecting them in your mind and you're figuring out what really matters to you. So I feel like some of you who might have let go of a really good relationship partner are dealing with the regrets associated with that, okay? I feel like some of you are dealing with that, especially if it's a, a recent person, like um, within the past three years, and then others, I feel like dividing up assets, splitting ways, and that's for like married married people, marriage, long-standing marriage um, relationships. So I, I see like a hodgepodge of uh, possibilities here, but I do sense that... Um, it's really important for you, Aquarius, to try not to control situations, okay? Try not to control people. Try not to control situations. Try not to have, you know, things a specific way because you can get a little bit neurotic when when you, you have like a um, preconceived notion of how things are going to go. And in your mind, it's going to go that way. And then if things even um, deviate just a little bit, um, it can it can create a lot of friction and it can, um, you know, stir up those. Um, it, it can make you a little bit psychotic. So just uh, try not to control. Okay, let things flow, be easygoing, be at ease, be willing to compromise and be willing as well to open up a little bit so that your partner doesn't feel like, you know, they're on the defense when they're dealing with you. Okay, so being open hearted, being open uh, handed when dealing with a relationship partner, I feel, you know, it's going to be really good for you. Okay. So I apologize for the neurotic comment, but I feel that's what's happening here. This is a card greatly about clinging on so tightly to preconceived notions, to certain expectations, to people. And um, when you do this, 
when you do this, it's, it's sort of like you understand why you're doing it, right? But other people are just around you, especially people that you love. They don't understand it. And you don't explain yourself too. So that can also create a lot of friction in the relationship because they're just like, why are you like this? Why are you so difficult? Why are you so, you know, fixed in your ways? And I feel like bending a little bit. It doesn't show any weakness. It just shows that you care about them enough. You care about your relationship partner enough that you can put your pride aside and to compromise with them. Okay. So that's going to be very crucial. And I feel like this, um, this is going to extend across romantic, you know, relationships. But I also feel if you have a business partnership with another person as well, um, you trust your partner. But I feel like this is the month in which your, work partner like um if you have financial linkages with another like a business partner or work partner or if you work with a partner in your you know career um i feel like they're gonna go through some financial hardships and you're gonna be in a position to step up and um even out the karma so if in the past you've you've fallen on some hard times this is the month um and you know your partner stepped up this is the month where you reciprocate, okay? So I feel like your partner, romantic or even business partner, is going to go through some financial hardships and you need to be emotionally present and you need to be a little bit more, I want to say like, um, you know, Aquarius, I feel like a lot of the times too, um, it, it, it seems to me like when you see it, then you believe it. But then the impact is not as strong when people just talk about it. But like when you actually see it, that's when it hits home. So for example, um, this is just an example so that you understand where I'm coming from. Okay, so somebody can tell you, um, I'm, I'm really struggling financially. Can you help me pay the electricity bill, for example? And if, if this is your partner at work or your partner in love, um, you you understand the words that they're saying, right? And uh, you will do it, but you won't really understand how much they're struggling. And so you would, you know, step in and help them pay the electricity bill. But then when it comes to like, you know, they're, if they're struggling with electricity, they're probably struggling with food. They're probably struggling with rent as well. So taking what we know and applying it, you know, more generally, more broadly across the board, is going to be really helpful for you this month. So, for example, if your partner, you know, has um, falling on some hard times and they asked you, like, can you help me with this? Whatever else that you feel you can help them with, ask, okay? If you, don't, you might not want to overstep their boundaries and then they might not want to uh, impose too much upon you so they might not ask. But I feel like if they're struggling with one area, they're probably struggling with others as well. So it's really important for you to ask, ask follow-up questions, you know, and see where else you can be of assistance. Because I feel like there are some financial issues that they're dealing with right now, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. Let me talk about other things that are coming into the picture for you that looks really, really good. Um, first of all, we have here the Two of Wands. And um, when this card first came out, I was, um, they, they mentioned here, a need to move, a need to re relocate, a need to make like a major, major transition in your life. Okay. And, uh, I feel like this deals heavily with the housing environment that you're in. So I feel like for many of you, you've been in one place for too long and you feel like you're gathering moss and you're just like, I want to break away. I want to relocate. I want to like, uh, live somewhere else. I want to make a major, major move. And some of you are afraid to make this move because your family members, your clan, your family unit is close by. So I feel like there's this push and pull factor coming through in your geographical location. On the one hand, there, there might be, you know, security because siblings are there in the same city. Uh, mom, dad are there. Cousins are there. Your, your social circle, your, um, your groups associations they're all there so it's it's easy for you to just stay there but on the other hand you want more 
you feel like you have to relocate in order to get, you know, in order to attend school, a really good school, in order to get new energy, in order to get the job that you really want. So you feel as if geographically you are being restricted from all of these things and especially from success. And I feel like you're itching for this change. You're itching for this relocation. Um, it seems to me like you're heavily thinking about it, but you don't really have any plans in place just yet. So if that's something that you really want, I feel like you need a strategy here. Because I am sensing that you might be feeling this urge to just want to get out, do something different, wanting new things. But I feel like it's a very transient energy. It comes and goes. And so if you're serious about it, you need to formulate some type of plan. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck, you know, just um, you're going to be stuck dealing with this energy, wanting new things, but nothing is really happening. Like no actions are being taken from your end. Um, they mention here a very spiritual household. And um, I feel like it, it, it means two things. A lot of you, you have this, um, you, you know, you have like a lot of emotional support from your family members. But at the same time, the family unit, there might be a lot of restructuring where some responsibilities are imposed upon you in a very unfair way. You are a sign that... Um, I am sensing like, you know, you, you don't, um, inundate yourself with a lot of responsibilities. So that means you like to travel light. You like to come and go as you please. You like to be, you know, in and out of an environment. If it gets too claustrophobic, if it gets too uncomfortable, you like to be out of there. So you don't like it when other people impose so many responsibilities upon you, even family members, you care about them. And it feels like you really do care about your family members and you might want to, if you're further away, you might be thinking heavily about wanting to settle down close to them. And if you're close to them right now, you might want to leave, but you still want to have the safety and the security of the family member uh, and the family unit. And then others, I'm sensing there are a lot more responsibilities in the home. You feel very claustrophobic and you just want out. Okay. So this, um, energy brings up for me, um, like children, new, new family members being added into the household. The space gets a little bit more cramped. Um, some of you might have many children and the responsibilities are piling on. The children might be growing. And you might not have, you know, the freedom to come and go as you please anymore because other people are relying on you because the kids are relying on you. And then for others, elderly parents are now coming into the household and they're relying on you for things. Okay. So I do sense a lot of like, um, you know, just, um, wanting to break away, wanting to make chart new territory. And if you are in a position where you can do that without it adversely affecting the people that you love, definitely formulate a plan for yourself. Because I feel like new things are waiting, new love, new opportunities, um, kind of like falling in love with your life, new opportunities for you to venture out and explore. It's coming right around the corner for you. But you need to formulate a plan about how you're going to get from here to here because the plan it's not in order just yet, okay? And also, I feel like for some of you, geographically, if you're staying in a specific area, you might be blocked from success. So that means if you're looking for like a higher paying position, if you're looking for a specific position, like a, a specific field of work, uh, geographically, you need to relocate. And I do, I keep seeing this um, west to east relocation. So it could be across the continental U.S., west to east, or it could be overseas, moving in the eastern direction. So I feel like this is something that you need to do and you are just, you know, very, very stubbornly clinging on, okay? Um, I would advise you to grab opportunities as, as fast as you can. If you're not really sure, you know, like, how do I get from here to there? Look and see what jobs are offered, look to see, you know, what opportunities are available in the new location. And especially look to see where you might be able to shift, even though it might not be the ideal geographical location, 
Don't think like, oh, I don't want to live there because I don't want to be stuck there forever. You're not going to be stuck there forever. It's going to be kind of like a stepping stone type of a move. And it's going to be really good for you. Okay. So Aquarius, I feel like this is a month where there is a mixture, a big mixture of um, anticipation, claustrophobia, and also, you know, relationships um, issues as well. I do feel that the energy is very good because it's forcing you to make a change. And I feel like some of you have been grappling with this decision for a really long time. You think about it. You sit and think and think and think. And you're not really making any moves in the right direction. Okay, so you're, you're just thinking. You're living in your head. And you're not moving. You're not making any concrete action. And so the advice here is... Don't think about it anymore. Make a move. Just be done with it. Okay. So it's like ripping off that band-aid. Just, you know, one swift motion and, and just be done with it. So we need to keep moving here. And I feel like a lot of fear, a lot of stagnation also coming through. But you have some really positive things. You have a lot of support coming through. Family members, um, loved ones that are going to be able to give you guidance. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you need to make a move, but you're afraid that in the process of moving, you're going to lose a significant relationship. You're not going to be there for your family. So these are issues that we all need to, um, kind of like form a, some type of a strategy in order to deal with them in order to weigh out the pros and cons, and then figure out an appropriate course of action. 